Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. And today we take a look at the newest event and the newest banner and just see exactly if this thing is going to be worth your time, your energy, even your skip tickets. Uh, but first, let's take a look at the new banner. So the new banner is going to be a Sokai. And with this is going to come supposedly two powerful mobile suits. So let's take a look at the first one, which is the O. And we're going to click on info, take a look. Really good armor, really good melee defense. It's you know obviously going to be a pretty sturdy MS. Uh, with technique attribute, close shot attack raised 20%. Hey, that's actually pretty good. So if you want something that's you know like the smooth bore cannon, I mean that's really going to increase his damage you know, pretty tremendously. Now you're gonna have the high mobility and the commander. So shot attack getting the increase and shot defense and beam resistance getting the in increase is not too bad. This can really be you know more defender. I, I can I can definitely see. Now with the body, the armor is going to be pretty good. Uh, you're going to have outfighter job, which is pretty odd. Uh, but EX skill piercing boosted 28%. Oh, that is really good for an outfighter. Because uh, in my opinion, outfighters have never been that amazing. I haven't seen too many traits that really cater to the outfighter class. Uh, more so the infighter. So getting something that's you know going to boost the outfighter class is pretty damn good. And now for the arms, you're going to have some immense melee attack. Uh, now while high mobility melee, while high mobility, the actual word tag, your melee power is boosted 30%. This thing is already looking like a powerhouse. Really? I don't know, man. I, I didn't think it was going to be so, like, just immensely powerful on the melee side. I was really expecting this to have a lot more defense because it's just so thick. But, hey, I, I welcome a new outfighter. And now with the legs, you're going to have, once again, some good melee defense and good armor. Um, having that melee defense is going to be really important because if you're going to be a, you know, melee-oriented fighter, you know, having a lot of you know, defense or resistance from, uh, you know, different you know, melee attacks is going to be beneficial because you're just going to be so close to the enemy and they could just one shot acquit of you, but, you know, having that defense is going to be really good. Now you're going to have an EX skill. The first EX skill that we have is going to be Heaven's Judgment. Beam, melee, A plus, C minus. Uh, this is definitely going to be a finisher just by the looks of it. Cooldown is going to be 20 seconds. So I think roughly, is that about bisects um, first? I think so. But hack away at enemies with the beam sword held in the hidden arms equipped to your waist. Squad recovers 48% of maximum armor. Raise melee attack of your squad by 29%. So that is crazy. Now all this once again is level 10. Probably going to be super difficult for you to get at level 10, but nonetheless, you know, we try and see what the potential and end game is going to be for these parts. Um, but overall, I mean, that is really good. This is something I'm probably going to go for is between the arms and the body and the legs. The head, I don't really need the shot attack, but the legs are looking really good. Now with the backpack, we're going to have some pretty average stats all around. Another EX skill. Oops. Uh, beam saber combo, you're going to have D and, P and piercing, B plus and power. First is going to be your six seconds and unleash a combo. So nothing really too spectacular, just a basic, you know, beam melee oriented EX skill. And now something I did notice is that you're going to have the ace exclusive uh, word tag down there. So you're going to have an increase in shot attack, which is a little bit odd just seeing how this whole thing has been melee oriented so far. And next we're going to have is... You know, it's for a four star, it's not as great. We have a lot of better options out there, but uh, the shot attack is still, you know, pretty decent. Uh, you're going to have beam range weapon reload speed boosted 20%. So not really a great weapon by any means. Now here we're getting into something that I think is just amazing. I love the Banshee and especially the fact that it's the OVA Banshee and not the novel. So you're going to have the EX skill head mounted Vulcans, the same thing you've seen all around. Now you're also going to have the Gundam type and the close combat word tags. So really excited to see that. But one thing I failed to mention is how immensely powerful that shot attack is for that head. Just beautiful. Now I would actually like to compare this with the original uh, Unicorn Gundam and just see you know where they, uh, they stand. So maybe that could be a future video. But wow, that is some beautiful shot attack. And of course it's going to be a Unicorn variant. So it's going to have the new type destroy mode and that is going to be some immense power ups you're going to have raise your speed by 20 percent shot attack by 29 percent and then shot defense by 19 percent so really good you're going to have this pretty much being a uh a long distance or maybe at least uh maybe an outfighter it could be but 
it's definitely going to be more uh, mid-range, I would say. So, looks really good. I'm pretty excited to see what else it's going to have. And here we have is going to be the arms. Now, the fact that it's going to have uh, the shield attach, it that just seems a little bit odd. Because the claw is not a... It's, it's definitely not a shield. So, I don't know where this whole shield thing is coming from, but I don't know. I guess they just didn't want you to slap a shield right on top of it since it technically doesn't use a shield in this form, which kind of makes sense. But anyways, uh, well, let's take a look at the stats. So your me melee attack is going to be really good. Shot attack is going to be really good. This is going to be a balanced suit, definitely. Um, then you're going to have EX skill, beam shot, DA, 20 seconds. Uh, looks like it's going to be a finisher. So drag uh, foes with the claw, crush them, and then uh, your dual beam deflector fins. Hmm... Okay, so squad recovers 48%, maximum armor, and raise your shot attack by your squad by 29%. Beam shots. Really good, so uh, pretty excited to see what that's going to look like. And next we're going to have is going to be the legs. Honestly, never been too excited about, you know, just legs in general. Uh, stats are going to be pretty average. Uh, your trait is going to be with power attribute self, EX skill cooldown reduced 20%. It's not your initial cooldown, uh, well, yeah, your initial cooldown stage. But this still is going to be really good if you already use one of your EX skills. And you just want to reuse it, um, you know, kind of faster. Um, but man, not really too excited about these legs. And here with the backpack, you are going to have some pretty average stats. And then you're going to have an EX skill. So double saber rush, B melee, D, B plus, first time three seconds. And then you're just going to, it's like the, the O. It's just your basic melee oriented EX skill. And next we're going to have is the pilot. So let's take a look at our first pilot. So from Seed, you're going to have Rale Croset. I butchered the hell out of the name. I felt it in my bones. Uh, but this is going to be a long shooter. Shot attack is actually pretty good. Really good armor. Everything else is kind of, eh, not too bad. Uh, technique attribute, buff, EX skill time up 22%. Mm, that could be good, but I'm usually not in it for the long game. I'm trying to like you know, hurry up and sprint to the end, and yeah, I don't really care about the time because I'm trying to win in, within 30 seconds. Uh, commander, shot attack, and beam resistance 5% while active, and then your ace exclusive, which is pretty damn good. And they're giving us another long shooter. Wow. Uh, and of course, it's going to be from Sea Destiny. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Uh, but shot attack's going to be pretty damn good, and you're going to have all range weapon magazines boosted 14% worthless absolutely worthless but hey maybe some people like her now also the sana kapool is going to be max so if you do get coins you can go ahead and use them for her and now we're gonna have uh just a look at the event so you got dual bladed demon actually pretty excited about this one because uh i you know saw a couple of sneak peeks of the parts and they are looking really good so uh, i definitely want to go over analysis of this uh mobile suit in the future Maybe tomorrow. I think I could probably, um, maybe I can, maybe I could do that. Uh, but you're going to have Mr. Bushido, which is pretty good as well. So it's coming with a pilot. You can get a bunch of great rewards. So obviously the period is going to be a week. And then we can take a look at what multipliers we can use. So obviously you're going to have the O, which is 100%. You're going to have Banshee, which is 80%. Uh, Exia, which I do have a few parts of that. Dynamis, 15%. I have uh, quite a few parts of Dynamis. And then uh, Susanoo. I keep on butchering these names, uh, but oh, for your seven percent, I mean that one you should have the Efri you just got, Kyrios you got a few uh, events ago, Natalie you got a few events ago, GNX uh, fairly easy to get, and GN um, eight, uh, sorry thirteen, wow, uh, GN thirteen that's you know uh, gold not gold green, GN Archer is green, so yeah a lot of these i mean you should already have them patrick you probably have a couple of those i had like four of them um but yeah nothing really too spectacular i'm not seeing anything um uh, crazy that you can get within the actual um event so it's just your kind of standard stuff but i uh, definitely want to take a look at this mobile suit and see exactly how great it is um even though i did see about three parts that i was like wow and yeah, that's pretty much it. And you're going to have your ranking. So yeah, looks good. Um, pretty excited to get to this. And now for the exchange, you're going to have quite a few new options. So we'll just take a look. You got the bonus co coin right here. Uh, yeah, basically just bo bonus coins. Nothing too crazy there. And now we're going to take a look at the demon coin exchange. 
So there's all these parts. You got your awakening circuits, standard uh, tickets, which I always try and go for because I, I mean, a free pull is a free pull. Uh, your awakening circuits, which is generally my first pull because I want to you know, always make sure I can get a gold. Um, let's take a look at the next one, the five star, which is just the gold. And then we got the premium material. So these are just going to be, you know, not, I don't think it's every single four star. It might be actually every single four star. Um, me personally, I've been just getting bisect uh, because I want to max out my bisect. And if I do max out that, I mean, hey, that's going to be some great damage in arena. But yeah, overall, I mean, it's going to be a lot of good parts. I wish they would stop. And uh, the four star exchange. Oh, we just touched that, right? No, that's the premium. And you're going to have the four star ticket exchange. So it looks like it's the same thing. Yeah, I think it's just, just the same thing. But uh, man, that's it. So nothing really too crazy this event. I mean, you're going to have to what I believe is a good welfare suit. Uh, something I do want to do some coverage on. But yeah, I already got my team set up. So I'm going to be running with a Ifrit Kyrios Exia variant. A Dynamis, you know, kind of variant. And then, I don't know what the hell my main suit is. I don't know, it's something. <laughs> but I just always always throw the May costume on her. But yeah, yeah that's pretty much it. So, uh, really decent event. I mean, the O is looking promising as a solid melee oriented attacker. So, um, hopefully when I do some pulls, I'm going to get it. But I don't have high hopes. <laughs> but I would, I would at least like to get some of the more decent parts of that suit. Hey, that's anyways, that's uh, it for me, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, if you do like this content, please let me know in the comment section below. I do want to continue this series. Sometimes I kind of disappear for a bit, but I think I can go ahead and continue doing almost daily content of Gundam Breaker Mobile um, or Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare, however you want to spin it. Uh, but that's pretty much it for me, guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.